Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to take a look at how we can do optic tracking with FastSAM. So the same model, segment anything from Meta, is a foundation model. It is really good at segmenting out like pretty much everything. We get a nice segmentation mask around our objects. So the main bottleneck with that model is that it is a very large foundation model, so we can't really run it in real time. And it's also expensive to run. So we have different variations of it. We both have mobile SAM and also fast SAM. Both of those are supported with Ultralytics. But this way here, we're going to see how we can do optic tracking with fast SAM because that is the fastest one. And we're going to see some pretty cool segmentation results that we can run tracking on top of. So, so right now, let's just jump straight into Ultralytics documentation to find the fast SAM model. We need, just need to go inside the models tab. Then we have all the models available inside Ultralytics. So YOLO v9, we have SAM, so the foundation model from Meta, Mobile SAM, and also fast SAM. So the fast time here model here is what we're going to use. And again, it's just going to segment out anything in the image. It is still a trade off between accuracy and speed compared to using the original SAM model. But again, we still get very good performance. With the SAM model, you can both do a point prompt. So you can basically just specify a, a point and then it's going to do segmentation of that region or like that object that you have chosen a point for. Could also be a box prompt. So let's say that you're doing object detection and you want to do segmentation inside of that. Then you can just specify a prompt and it's going to segment out the optics inside of that bounding box. But you can also do text prompts so you can like tell it to segment out the black dog as we can see in this example. You can also just run it out of the box without anything. It's just going to segment out every single pixel in the image as we can see here as well. So right now you can go in and read about like the overview, the key features, because this act like does a pretty good job and you get good performance compared to the speed and also the processing power needed. We can see the available model support task and operating modes. We can do inference and also export the fast SAM model. So we both have a small variation and also an extra large variation. And we can only do instant segmentation because it's going to segment out every single pixel hence wide segmentation and not just optic detection. We can't do any validation or training with Ultralytics. We just need to run these models out of the box. Now we can see that we have some use examples, how we can do predictions with it, validation, tracking, and also some official use from FastSAM if you want to set it up in your own environment. But we have all of that covered inside the Ultralytics framework already with the command line command, YOLO, and then we can run segmentation, track, or prediction, or even validation, we just need to specify the model path, the source, so that could be an arbitrary source, webcam, the index of your camera, if you're using USB camera, it could be like a, a IP camera stream, video stream, YouTube URL, and so on. You can specify the image size, and you can find all the arguments inside the Ultralytics documentation. So you can both run it in the command line, but also in a custom Python script, where we just need to create an instance of our fast SAM model. We specify the path to the PyTorch weight file, if you're running this for the first time, it will download the model weights automatically. You need to throw in the model, the track, you throw in the source, so a video path, image size. You can also specify if you want to show the results, store the results, like save the results. You just need to set those arguments equal to true. We get the results here with a generator, so we can always extract the results, just as if we're doing instant segmentation, update detection with Ultralytics, we already have videos covering all of that. So let's just grab this code snippet, let's go into a custom Python script, and let's see how we can run it, and then let's do object tracking on a live webcam stream. So right now I'm just going to open up a Python script, paste in the text, this is the only thing that you have to do, you have this fast time model up and running in just a few lines of code. And even if you want to change this to one of the other models inside Ultralytics, YOLO v5, YOLO v8, YOLO v9, some of the other models, you just need to import YOLO up here and specify the path to the model exactly in the same way as here. But right now we're just going to create an instance of FastSAM. We're going to run with the small model when we need to apply tracking on top of it just to be able to run as fast as possible. Then we just call our model.track, which specify the source. I'm going to find some videos in just a second. Let's pass a couple in there and also try out on a live webcam stream and see how optic tracking works with the fast same model. So let's now find a video that we can pass through this fast same model. I just have a bunch of examples over here to the left. We also have this Kazakhstan traffic intersection. So let's go in and take that one. We just copy the relative path and then we just need to paste it in here directly. So it's going to open up that video stream. We also need to specify that we want to save the video. So we set save equal to true and we also want to show it while it's doing inference and also tracking. So now we should be good to go. We can go up and open a new terminal. I'm just going to open a command prompt so I can use my anaconda environment 
And then we just need to run the Python script, Python tracking fast sam.py. Let's run it. It's going to download the model automatically. It's going to open up, set up the whole pipeline for inference, take the video stream, process every single image and show us the results. So this is the results that you can go in and extract the results from directly. We can go in and see the metrics. So how long it takes to process around six to 10 milliseconds per iteration. And this is only like a seven second video, but we, we can see that we're still able to do tracking. We get an ID for every single object that we have segmented out here in the image. So we both have some trees. We have a bunch of cars here. We can see that it's still like relatively slow because we have to run this fast same model. We are only able to get like a few frames per second when we need to run optic tracking on top of it. So this is a very huge model to run, but it can be used for a lot of different things. So right now I'm just going to open up the live webcam stream. I have the webcam here. It's going to open that up and we're going to run real time optic tracking with this fast same model. So we can see that, that sometimes it runs at around like five, six milliseconds. Sometimes it, it's jumping a bit, but right now we can see it is act like real time. It works pretty smoothly. It does a good job at doing segmentation of the different objects. And we also assign an ID to each individual one. Sometimes it's just lagging out here because it basically just like maximizes out the GPU and then we're able to run this in real time. So this is how you can both run it on a video stream and also directly on your live webcam, which can be used for a lot of cool applications and projects. So that's it for this video here. I hope you have learned a ton. Definitely go in, test it out. We don't need to train any model, any segmentation model. We can just use this fast same out of the box with Autolytics, run tracking on top of it exactly in the same way as if we're using YOLO V8 or YOLO V9 and so on. So this is pretty cool. Definitely go and check it out or else I'll just see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy learning.